Hi, and welcome to a tutorial for grid drawing. You'll see that what I have in front of me is a regular letter size sheet of paper, and it is covered with um, a grid. What we are going to do is we're going to take the image that is here, and we are going to transfer it to an empty grid sheet. We begin here by lettering and numbering our grid. And you can choose in which directions your letters and numbers go. I am going to start with A, B, C, D, E, and F across the top, and one, two, three, four, and five down the sides. Now I could just as easily have gone A, B, C down and one, two, three across. Again, it's entirely up to you. But what this does is it gives us grid coordinates. So we're going to move over to an empty sheet and we are going to create or recreate the same grid coordinates, which means that we are going to use letters across the top, two, three, four, five, and numbers down the side. What I will do next is I will look in grid A1 and there is nothing and I will continue on down six, seven, eight, nine. Now, when I come to A6, I have this. So what I will do is I will seven, eight, and nine. I will look very, very carefully at what is in square A6. So starting from the top, I will come down and around and out. I also have to account for the nose, and that goes in a little, and down. So I have now completed grid A6. Okay, um, I am going to go to B. Okay, so you can hopefully, no, you can't. If I put them side by side, you can see this has been recreated in here. What I am going to do next is B1, B2, B3, B4. I have things in the grid B4. So again, I am going to go back to my drawing. Okay, and I am going to they say they'll press ahead with arrangements to pass the legislation needed to leave the EU by the end of the month, despite the Prime Minister being forced to ask the EU for an extension to the process. And that's what's in B4. As I look at it now, of course, it doesn't make any sense at all. Now I'm going to come down to B5. And this continues down like this, tucks in, and then comes out like this. What I am also doing is I am very carefully looking at what is in my source grid and I'm basically using the contour drawing technique in order to create, excuse me, uh, in order to create my grid. Now, I have, if you look carefully, I have an eyebrow up here that starts out like this. 
goes like that. Okay, and in this, I also have an eye which lines up with this. And Okay, and I go down to the bottom of B5, which is the square we're working in, and I see that there's nothing more. Okay, now we go to B6, so I'm going to come down. And this line continues and then comes up about here. And there we go. And that's what's in B6. B7. B8. So I need to, in B8... Okay, and that's what goes in B8. I now move over to column C, one, two, three, and you'll notice that there is a small part of the ear there. So, oops, I am going to go to my drawing. There's C3. Okay. Um, and there we go. And there we go. And that's B3. Now I go down to B4 or C4. I've got to line up these. Then from here, okay, there's something I didn't do quite right there. So I'm going to go this way, up and around. This line that starts here is going to come up. Okay. And I also have and there we go and we just can we just continue on that way until we have completed the drawing the only thing that we are worried about at any one time is the grid that we are working in okay you take your time do this as a contour drawing. Just make sure your grid references between the source uh, image and your recreation are the same. And this is easy peasy. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. We'll talk to you soon.